सो प्रोबेबलिस्टिक ग्राफिकल मॉडल मॉड्यूल नंबर वन द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू प्रोबेबलिस्टिक ग्राफिकल मॉडल सो इन प्रोबेबलिस्टिक ग्राफिकल मॉडल यू हैव प्रोबेबिलिटी एंड यू हैव द ग्राफ कॉन्सेप्ट सो फर्स्ट लेट्स सी द एक्सपेरिमेंट बिफोर दैट वील सी द मॉड्यूल वन मॉड्यूल वन इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू प्रोबेबलिस्टिक ग्राफिकल मॉडलिंग इंट्रोडक्शन टू प्रोबेबिलिटी थियोरी प्रोबेबिलिटी थियोरी यू हैव बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट एंड प्रोबेबिलिटी रैंडम वेरिएबल्स जॉइंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इंडिपेंडेंस एंड कंडीशनल इंडिपेंडेंस कंटिन्यूस स्पेसिस एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड वेरियंस इंट्रोडक्शन टू ग्राफ्स नोट्स एंड एजेस सब ग्राफ्स पाथ्स एंड ट्रेल साइकिल्स एंड लूप्स देन यू हैव मॉडल्स दैट इज मेशियन नेटवर्क मार्को मॉडल हिडन मार्को मॉडल एंड एप्लीकेशन इन प्रोबेबलिस्टिक ग्राफिकल मॉडल सो एक्सपेरिमेंट टू टाइप्स ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट्स आर देयर इन प्रोबेबिलिटी वन इज योर डिटर्मिनिस्टिक एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड योर रैंडम और प्रोबेबलिस्टिक एक्सपेरिमेंट वॉट डू यू मीन बाई डिटर्मिनिस्टिक एक्सपेरिमेंट वेन एन एक्सपेरिमेंट इज रिपीटेड अंडर आइडेंटिकल कंडीशन प्रोड्यूस द सेम आउटकम एवरी टाइम अप फॉर एग्जाम्पल कॉइन विथ टू हेड्स और टेल्स एवरी टाइम द रिजल्ट इज सेम सो एवरी टाइम यू आर गेटिंग अ हेड्स सो वी से दैट दैट वेन एन एक्सपेरिमेंट इज रिपीटेड अंडर आइडेंटिकल कंडीशन एंड यू आर गेटिंग द सेम आउटपुट Every time you are tossing the coin, you are getting heads. You are getting the same output. Up, we say that it is a deterministic experiment. Up, random or probabilistic experiment. When an experiment is repeated under identical conditions, do not produce the same outcome every time. But the outcome is from the several possible outcomes. Up. So coin with head and tail is tossed when it is tossed output is random but only two types of outputs are possible that is either you can get heads or you can get tails so what are they saying that when you are doing the experiment under identical conditions it does not produce the same output so that means first time when you did it under identical conditions you got heads second time when you did you got a tail the third time when you're doing it you are getting a head fourth time you getting a head fifth time when you're performing the experiment of tossing the coin you are getting a tail so basically you are not getting the same outcome every time but the outcome is from the several possible outcomes what are the possible outcomes either you can get a head or you can get a tail when you toss a coin so it is from the several possible outcomes several possible outcomes here are getting a head on on tossing or getting a tail on tossing so experiment says toss a fair coin 20 times at random so you can try this at your home toss a coin 20 times at random and check what you are getting the frequency it can happen that you are getting the frequency as 10 of for heads 10 for tails that means equally likely you are getting a equal frequency it can happen you are getting 5 you over here you getting 15 times tails so you can get a different probability also that means we say that this is a random experiment uh, when you are getting different outputs or outcomes so this is the experiment probability theory a degree of confidence that an event of an uncertain nature will occur for example The weather report might say there is a low probability of light rain in the afternoon. Probability of India to win is more if you study hard. Probability of getting good marks is high. Probability theory deals with the formal foundations for discussing such estimates and rules they should obey. For example, probability of winning is seventy percent. Probability of losing is eighty percent. This is wrong. Why? Because if probability of winning is seventy. probability of losing should be 30 as the total probability should always equal to 100 if the probability of losing is 80 then the probability of winning should be 20% because your total probability should always be equal to 100% so this is the probability theory now probability space 
a probability space or a probability triple why triple because it is involving three things that is your sample space this is your sample space you have your event space which is represented as s event space and p is probability function ah so a probability space or a probability triple is a mathematical construct that provides a formal model of the random processes or experiment for example one can define a probability space with models the throwing of a die so you are throwing a dice the probability space consists of three elements a sample space up so the sample space means number of possible outcomes so when you are throwing a die what are the possible outcomes you can get a 1 on a die you can get a 2 on a die you can get a 3 on a die 4 on a die 5 on a die and a 6 on a die so this is the sample space means number of possible outcomes up an event space which is a set of events up an event being a set of outcomes in the sample space sir. so event space means if you are getting a 5 that means the die lands on 5 if you getting 2 4 and 6 we say that the lie die lands on a even number so even space is a set of events then a probability function which assigns each event in the event space a probability which is a number between 0 and 1 so for example suppose you are getting a 5 on a die then the probability function will be 1 by 6 why 1 because you are getting only 5 once and how many total outcomes are there 6 so 5 is present once and total outcomes are 6 so 1 by 6 is your probability function uh, measurable events uh, a set of measurable events s to which we are willing to assign probabilities a uh, each event a which is belonging to a subset s of a sample space up in die the event 6 represents the case where die shows 6 1 3 and 5 represent the case of an odd outcome up probability distribution a probability distribution p over sample space comma event space is a mapping from the events in s to real values that should satisfy the following conditions p of alpha should be always greater than 0 for all alpha belongs to the event space p of sample space equal to 1 if alpha and beta belong to event s and alpha intersection beta is null then probability of alpha intersection beta is equal to probability of alpha plus the probability of beta the first condition states that the probabilities are not negative because we say that probability of alpha should always be greater than equal to 0 it can never be less than 0 that means probabilities can never be negative The second condition states that the trivial event which allows all possible outcomes has maximum probability of 1. So maximum probability can be 1. That means 100%. 100% or you can say 1. Maximum probability can be 1. The third condition states that the probability that one of the two mutually disjoint events will occur is the sum of the probability of each event uh, these two conditions imply that many other conditions of a particular interest are p of intersection equal to 0 and p of a union b equal to p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b that means if alpha comma beta that means 2 comma 3 belong to s what is s s is the events in the die so die has 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so 2 and 3 belong to that and a intersection b is alpha intersection b is null 2 and 3 intersection there is no common element we say that the probability of a union b is nothing but 
probability of a is 1 by 6 because 2 will come 1 by 6 times 3 will also come 1 by 6 times and there is no common element so intersection is 0 so your answer will be 2 by 6 that is 1 by 3 so this is what is done what is the probability of getting a 2 or a 3 when a die is rolled let a and b be the events of getting a 2 and a 3 when a die is rolled up then p of a equal to 1 by 6 and p of b is also 1 by 6 there is no intersection no common element so p of a union b is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 minus 0 that is 2 by 6 that is 1 by 3 interpretations of probability the probability p of a of an event a quantifies the degree of confidence that a will occur up if p of a equal to 1 we are certain that one of the outcome in a occurs if it is 0 we consider all of them impossible other probability values represent options that lie between the two extremes what are the two extremes 0 and 1 if it is 0 event occurrence is impossible if it is 1 then means one of the event shall occur event occurs now frequentionist interpretation views probability as the frequency of events uh, more precisely the probability of an event is a fraction of times the event occurs if we repeat the experiment indefinitely so rolling a die p of a is 0 0.3 for a135 states if we repeatedly roll this die uh, then the fraction of times the outcome in a will occur is 0 0.3 so we say that in frequentiation we will count the frequencies of events uh, how many times the event is occurring uh. subjective interpretation views the probabilities as a subjective degree of belief uh. the statement p of a equal to 0 0.3 represents a subjective statement about one's own degree of belief that the event a will come about the probability of a rain tomorrow afternoon is 50 percent lets us that in the option of the speaker the chances of rain and no rain tomorrow are the same so when we say it is 50 percent that means chances of raining is 50 no rain is also 50 50 percent means chances of raining is equal to the chances of not raining us so out of 100 50 it is it can rain 50 it is it cannot rain up consider that a fair die has been rolled and you are asked to give the probability that it was a 5 so when you say it was a 5 that means out of 1 5 occurs how many times once out of the total that is 6 there are 6 equally likely out outcomes so your answer will be 1 by 6 but imagine if you answer if before you answer you get an extra information that the number roll was order now what is the probability that it was 5 so in 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 how many odd outcomes are there 1 3 and 5 there are three odd outcomes so you say that five will occur how many times once in all these three outcomes so one by three so your answer will be revised to one by three